All right, so you want to start a blog and you want to start making money. So you go ahead and purchase a domain name and hosting, install WordPress or any other similar CMS and set up your website. Now after the setup is done, you go ahead and post some high quality content on your website, not AI generated crap. You take time, you do the research and you post some high quality content on your website. But even after months, your website is not ranking on Google and no one is really visiting your website. And the reason you either wrote content that no one really searches for or targeted keywords that are hyper competitive with a keyword difficulty of 50 or 75 or even more. And the problem here is that all of these keywords that you targeted, I mean, a lot of authority websites are already ranking for this keyword and you do not really stand a chance to rank for it with your new website. And the solution is to do proper keyword research, link building and spot on on-page SEO. And in this video, I will show how to use a platform called SEMrush, which is like an online digital marketing toolkit or like an all-in-one SEO platform. So this platform will help you to find, you know, winning keyword ideas with less competition, but high volume, link building opportunities and a bunch of other SEO tools. So without wasting further ado, let's jump straight in. And now the first thing that I want you to do is to click the first link in the description below and go ahead and sign up for a free SEMrush account. And they provide a free trial so you can go ahead and check out SEMrush and explore all the cool features it has to offer. So the first thing, just go ahead and sign up for a free account. And once you activate your free trial, you can follow along and find some really cool keywords. Words, all right so let's start and by the way SEMrush is currently running a black friday deal where you get a seo consultation worth over 300 dollars completely for free if you purchase one month of SEMrush pro so definitely make sure to check the link in the description for more details now back to the video all right so this right here is SEMrush and i have already signed up for a new account and logged into the same and once you log in this is going to be the interface that you'll be treated with and at first let me show you how you can find low competition and high volume keywords all right so the first thing that you got to do is to come to this section called keyword overview now this is the keyword research tool that is available within SEMrush now how does this work you ask well you got to find a couple of main keywords within your niche so whatever be the niche that your blog is in there will be like certain keywords right like the parent a keyword you could say and all you got to do is to enter those keywords in this area so let's say i have a blog or a website in the gardening niche and one of the important plants in the gardening space is polka dot okay now I'm pretty sure a lot of people will have a lot of questions and i have a lot of opportunity to write a lot of content around this polka dot plant so all i got to do is to enter polka dot plant in the main keyword section and after that you can go ahead and select the location so primarily i'm planning to target us so i'll go ahead and select us and in your case if it's a different country you can go ahead and select it from the drop down menu and let's just go ahead and hit search and now wait for a few seconds and as you can see SEMrush is already showing us a bunch of details so first it shows how much people are searching for this particular keyword from our selected country that is US. So around 22,000 people are searching for this particular keyword only. All right. So polka.plant and the global volume is around 49.2K and you can find the intent here. So informational intent. So we can also find the intent here. It says informational intent and there are like different intent like purchase intent, transactional intent, informational, navigational. All right. I hope you guys already know about all these basics. If not, I will link a video in the description below or an I button above where I explain all about the basics of SEO so you can go ahead and watch that video now once you further scroll down you'll find a couple of sections saying keyword variations and questions now this is the area that I'm primarily interested in but before we get there I'll, if you scroll down a little bit more you will find a section called SERP analysis and now what is this you ask well these are the pages that is already ranking on the top page like the first page of Google for the given keyword that is polka.plant all right so these are the websites so we have the spruce.com we have reddit we have costa farms easyplant.com so all of these are the uh, pages that are currently ranking so you can find the authority score how many backlinks these pages have what how much traffic each of these pages get and also the url keywords or keywords number of keywords for just this page is ranking and as you can see the top ranking page in this for this keyword gets around 15.1k search traffic and this search traffic right here does not mean that this page is getting this much traffic from this keyword only so Apart from this particular main keyword that is polka.plant, uh, this uh, particular page will be ranking for many other related keyword rights. So if you click on this one, you will be able to see all of that. So all of these keywords combined is pulling about 15.1K traffic for this particular page right here. All right. So we have polka.plant. We have all these polka, uh, all these keywords, right? All of these are like related keywords. And this page is ranking in number one, number two, I mean, number three and all that. 
so all of these keywords combined is pulling this much traffic all right now the thing that you got to do is to after entering the main keyword you got to come to this area that says keyword variations and for this keyword i have about 1.3 and i'll go ahead and click on this view all 1.3k keywords and now SEM rush will show all the keyword related to the main keyword all right so we can see all the keywords words here we can find the search volume we can find the keyword difficulty we have the cpc sub features and we also have the intent all right so let's go through one by one at first the main keyword polka.plant now we have pink polka.plant which has a search volume of 2400 then we have polka.plant care i mean these all are related keywords and now if you look at it all the keywords with the highest uh, search volume is ranked to the top and as you further scroll down the keyword volume reduces and now all of these are examples of variations of keyword for example we have polka.plant indoor or outdoor and we have how to care for polka.plant uh, polka.plant flowers polka.plant toxic to cats i mean all of these are examples of different keywords and now one of the important metrics that you should look for is this keyword difficulty right here now keyword difficulty shows you how hard it would be for a website to rank organically in google top 10 for a listed keyword all right so if you are starting a new website your website is literally new brand new and you don't really have an authority score or domain authority or anything as such it will be like little zero right now it does not really make any sense to go after keywords like this all right so this has a keyword difficulty of around 44 and i'm pretty sure with a new website you won't even stand a chance to rank in the top 20 or 30 for this keyword all right even if you have a killer content at least that's how it is and yeah that's for that so the thing that you got to do is to use these filter options to find low competition and high volume keywords so the first thing that I do is to click on this KD option and I'll put it in the EC section. So what I found is that using this filter, that EC filter will let you filter out keywords that are relatively easy to rank, but that isn't 100% sure. For example, as you can see, even if I put this EC uh, keyword difficulty uh, filter here, polka.plant is already ranking and it is showing the keyword difficulty of 28. But if you manually search for it on Google, let me just do that real quick. All right, so if you manually search for it on Google, you would already see that we have top websites like the Spruce, Wikipedia, all of these websites, southernliving.com, all of these websites ranking in the top. And as you could probably guess, this is a hyper competitive keyword and the keyword difficulty is just off here. But you kind of get the idea, right? Now, the keyword difficulty score is not to be 100% trusted, but it gives you a starting point. Now, the next thing that you got to do is to find all of these variations of this keyword. So this right here, care for polka.plant. Now, this topic and are polka.plant toxic to cats are two different uh, keywords and having two different different intentions all right now the people who are searching for both these keywords will have different intentions and now you easily got two keyword ideas to write an article about and now let me just go ahead and click on this keyword are polka.plant toxic to cats and once i click on it it will load all the details related to the keyword so we have the search volume global volume and all other details and the keyword difficulty is just 15 and if you scroll down you can go ahead and analyze all the pages that are currently ranking in the top and the next thing that i do is to switch over to the domain tab in serp analysis and it will give you a domain authority score and as you can see we have a couple of websites with the domain authority score of 20 series ranking in the top on the first page all right so that's an interesting one. Now, if your website has a domain authority score comparable to 24 or 30, you kind of stand a chance to rank for this keyword is what it means. All right. And next up, let me just go ahead and search for a different keyword. This time, let's say I have a website in the tech niche and I go ahead and search for PlayStation, hit search and wait for it to load. And obviously PlayStation is like a hyper competitive keyword, but that's not what we are targeting. I'll go ahead and click on this, this time around. I'll go ahead and click on this option that says questions. So basically SEM rush will filter out and show all the question keywords related to this particular parent keyword all right now we have a lot of different questions and if you look at it this particular keyword is like what one two three four five six seven eight nine ten it's like 10 words long and it's like a long tail keyword and the competition is just so high all right now obviously we'll go to the KD section and put it into the EC category and let's say I'm planning to write an informational intent article. That means people are coming to my website to seek some kind of information. So I can click on this intent option and find, set it as informational. I'll click on apply and CPC exclude everything. And okay, if you want to, you can go ahead and include particular keywords or if you want to exclude some keywords, you can go ahead and add it. And once you apply and all the keywords with that excluded keyword won't be made visible. And similarly, if you include a keyword in this filter right here, all the listings here will make sure that 
particular keyword will be included correct so that's basically how it works so in this case we have a couple of keywords i guess can i connect playstation headphones to chromebook it is having a good search volume of 1900 and the competition is 29 all right so if i scroll down is halo coming to playstation that's a good one all right so we have a lot of keywords right here now all of these are examples of keywords that you can target and write content about and since the keyword difficulty is not that high you kind of stand a chance to or it's more likely that your content will rank on the first page of google if you get other things right like the link building on page seo and basics of off page seo as well and now that's one way of finding low competition and high volume keywords and there's one more method that i use the most to find winning keyword ideas and that is to spy on my competitors who are just getting started all right now they will have a relatively new blog but they'll be pulling in a lot of traffic now that's a easy method for you to find keywords and if you let's say for any niche you will there will be like certain main keywords right so you can go ahead and search for that keyword on google and you can go through the serp and find related keywords for example let's say i'm in the tech niche and i search for playstation and we have a lot of keywords right here right so you go ahead and search for each of these keywords on google go to the listing and that way you'll have to find and and analyze all the website that is currently ranking and find a couple of website that has been started recently but is pulling a lot of traffic now one such website that is not that old or does not really have any authority but has a good number of uh, traffic is this one right here smarttechfaqs.com so all i gotta do is to copy this url and head back to this domain overview section and i'll go ahead and paste this like my competitor domain name right here and i'll click on search all right now as you can see this website has a authority score of just 24 and the organic search traffic is around 16.2k and if you look at the chart there's like a sudden influx of traffic and if you open up whois.com and search for the domain name you would see this domain was registered about what for five months back and this website is able to get 16.2k traffic now all you gotta do is to scroll down and come to the section that says top organic keywords click on view details and now SEM rush will show all the keywords that this website is ranking for the difficulty traffic and all other details all right so one such keyword that this website ranks for is my element 32 inch tv randomly turns off and on and it has a kd of 22 volume of 1.6 and it even has a featured snippet so to find more details i'll just click on it and i can now find details about this particular keyword right here all right so if i go ahead and search for it on google i should hopefully find this website all right so we have this website right here now all you gotta do is to repeat the same process and find interesting keywords from here and you can start writing the content all right so this is how you find low competition and high volume keywords or keywords for which website with low authority is already ranking now that's the key point you need to find websites with low authority that is already ranking in the first page of google for certain keywords make sure it has some kind of search volume so you can be absolutely sure people are searching for the keyword and you can go ahead and create a killer version or even better content and post it on your website and i'm pretty sure in about three to four months i guess your website will start ranking and that's a great starting point now that's all for keyword research and it is one of those things that you must master if you want to pull traffic to your blog even if you're just getting started like literally no authority whatsoever all right now alongside keyword research there are a couple of other things that you need to take care of that is link building and also basic on page and off page seo stuff so to learn more about all these on page and off page stuff you can go ahead and click the i button and refer to the video and i have explained pretty much everything in detail so you can go ahead and refer to that video and now let me also quickly go ahead and show you how you can find all the backlinks that a particular website has and you can also go ahead and try to replicate and create these backlinks to your website so you will have higher chances of ranking your website so let me show you how so all you gotta do is to open a cm rush and click on this option that says domain overview and now paste the domain name of your competitor right here and click on the search button and now SEM rush will load all the details related to this domain and the thing that we are particularly interested is in the backlink section but before getting into that let me just quickly go over what all details are shown here the first thing is that the organic search traffic section shows how much traffic a website gets for example this retro.com website gets around 126k organic search traffic from google every month and you can find the distribution by country the graph and sub features top organic keywords keywords by intent and all other details all right now let's just go ahead and click on this backlink section and this particular website has got over 2 million backlinks 
i mean a majority of them will be like spammy links but you it's your responsibility to filter out all the good ones and now you have a lot of filter options right here so you have all active new lost and all follow no follower and all these links okay and now for starters it only makes sense for you to go ahead and build do follow backlinks because only do follow links will pass link juice so yeah only these links can help you gain even more ranking so if the link is a no follow one it does not really make sense to invest your energy into building these no follow links so now that we have all the details related to backlinks of retro2.com you can go ahead and scroll down and find all the backlinks now as i can see this website has got links from maxstories.com romgame.fr techmeme all of these are like oh we even have wikipedia and all of these are like high authoritative websites and you can go over and find all these backlinks for example let me just go ahead and click on this one so gizmodo.com a popular tech website and this page links to retro doodoo okay all right so we have the link right here so it is a do follow link so if you right click and click on inspect and if you wait a second and let me just click on that link all right so it does not have that no follow tag that means this link right here is a do follow link and it passes link juice and gizmodo is like a very popular tech website and if you look it has got over more than 2 million visitors every month and this backlink right here is actually helping retro Dodo to rank higher in google all right so all you gotta do is to find the pattern of links that your competitor has got and you gotta start building it now explaining all about link building and strategies and everything is out of scope of this video but i'll make sure to post videos related to it so make sure you're subscribed but the whole idea here is that you need to find backlink opportunities by spying on the backlinks your competitors are getting and you need to find strategies to build these links and only if you have these good amazing and high quality high authoritative backlinks will your website rank higher and that's the only way to go about it now that's how you use SEMrush for keyword research and finding backlinks now keyword research and link building are two of many tools that is available within SEMrush so apart from that we have a ton of other tools for example we have a position tracking tool we have site audit we have on page SEO checker SEO content template I mean we have a bunch of different tools within SEMrush and I really hope I can create more videos in the future explaining all these tools because if I was about to go ahead and explain about all these tools the video will be at least five hours long. I mean this is an all-in-one marketing platform and this website has got everything that you will ever need so you can go ahead and explore all these tools yourself and you can find all these tools to help improve your search rankings and get a lot of visitors to your website all right now take time and go through each of these tools and learn what it can do and start using it today all right so that's basically how you do keyword research and find log competition and high volume keywords and also find potential backlink opportunities using SEMrush now if you're starting a new blog and if it's if it's a new blog and it does not really have any authority backlinks or anything finding log competition keywords for which authority website or high authority website is not already ranking and writing a good quality content and posting it and waiting for about three to six months is the only way you have all right and now to fast track the ranking process and to get your website ranking faster you can also go ahead and build high quality links alongside and that is the way to go especially if you're starting a new blog definitely make sure to check out the first link in the description below and sign up for a free trial of SEMrush and start analyzing your website and find competitor uh, traffic details keywords backlinks and all of that stuff i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one